So how did you get in uh, connected with George Romero? Um, I don't remember how I ran into him, but I'm sorry I did because I lost money on <laughs> And I even changed the title of, my, of uh, the picture to, from, let's see, what was it? it originally, what the hell did he call it? I had to change the campaign, the trailers, the uh, one sheets, so, you know, all the advertising. Because they were all had the older, the old name. Yeah, they had the old name. Right. So uh, tell us a little bit about the movie. Well, it was the end of the world. Right. Um, basically, a virus got out of the army's control that that they had developed. They had developed as a, a weapon, but they couldn't control it, so it wasn't a very good weapon. There was no antidote for it. But it was pretty effective. What did it do? Oh, yeah, it drove people crazy. Right. And it insane. didn't make them eat anybody, but they became insane and homicidal. Right. And uh, so uh, it got loose in a little town somewhere in Pennsylvania, probably? I don't remember. Where I tried in New York, and I... I spent money promoting it and advertising it. I even changed the title. Uh, what the hell was it originally? Uh, hmm, can't think of it. So uh, that movie uh, featured Edie as a it didn't uh, feature. She, well, as a second, she played secondary a, character, supporting. A, part. Yeah, she had a bit part in it. Right. Uh, a speaking part, though. She was a uh, scientist. Yeah, a lab assistant or a lab lab doctor or something. Right. Yeah, she was the and assistant. Of course, the irony of the thing was there was a there was a man who was immune to uh, the virus, natural immunity, and nobody recognized it except the doctor at the end. I think. No, no, no one ever did. He, uh, his girlfriend died. who was killed, and. Uh, he went in a shock, and he was just put in with the rest of the crazies. Mm. Right. Uh, I thought at the end the doctor had uh, blood from that that was. The... No, the, that was the irony. The the thing it started spreading out of the containment area. Area, and uh, it was too. You know, there was no cure for it. They never developed a vaccine, but. They never realized that they had an immune person who had blood that might have made a vaccine. Right. Yeah. So and then, of course, we entered the. It was called code name Trixie after. Oh, that was the original name. The Crazies was the first name. Ah. And it died. And I spent probably seventy-five thousand dollars redoing a whole campaign, new trailers, new one sheets, uh, new stills, everything. And it still doesn't work. Codename Trixie was a lead balloon. Well, apparently uh, the uh, powers that be in Hollywood thought the crazy wasn't so bad because eventually the movie was remade, in fact, fairly recently. Well, yeah, but you don't realize a lot of movies are made in Hollywood for the benefit of the uh, director and a couple of name actors, and they don't care really whether the movie ever makes money or not. Anybody who makes a movie without having distribution is stupid. It's uh, like Russian roulette. You can't win. So did the uh, remake of The Crazies make money? No. Yeah. So I wonder if it lost as much as you as yours did. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't have lost quite so much if I hadn't retitled it code name Trixie and made a whole new campaign up. Right, you ended up losing, is like two movies. Yeah. Like. It's, uh, oh, also the making the picture didn't work either. What do you mean? Well, the picture never exhibited, didn't want to play because it didn't make any money in the theater. Oh, okay. 